going to be a quick five minute video just to run through the new process designer in Dynamics 365. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up the default solution in my environment and I'm going to go and pick an entity and we're going to have a look at the um, at creating a new business rule. So what the new designer does is it's essentially a drag and drop interface. Um, it's very, very different to the previous kind of offering that wasn't actually bad uh, in previous versions, but this is a lot more um, functional to a certain extent. It's a lot more visual. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and give that a name. And so I start off with a condition. And you can see here if I can if I click this then you name it so check the account number exists very similar to these kind of display names are very similar to workflows where you have that workflow description um, I'm going to keep it set as the entity here um, and then so this is that rule so previous in previous versions you can uh, kind of nest rules and create more, more than one rules and, and stuff as well so there's the, for the actual functionality hasn't been kind of depreciated in any way um, it has just been um, kind of uh, relayed out to a certain extent so um, I'm just going to go ahead and so we just want we want to contains data there we go and um, you've got like kind of a, a basically uh, an expression version of your uh, your rules as well. So you can see there where I created that new uh, new rule, it's added an and to it as well. That's just so you can get an overview. What I found that with the new process designer is it's not just the visual aspects of kind of being um, been improved but it's more of a case of it actually is assisting you to um, help you get an overview of some of the more complex business rules um, that you make so for uh, other tools that do that as well are things like the minimap so I can just minimize that there but what it allows you to do is it allows you when you've got more than one on here it allows you to scroll around we'll do that in a moment and um, also it gives you this kind of text version of your entire business rule as well so I'm just going to delete this I just want to create the uh, create that so I just clicked apply and you can see there that now it's it's updated this it's updated the text view as well so I'm going to go in the component toolbox and I'm just then going to go ahead and perhaps set the field value so I'm just going to drag and drop that there and it set mm, contact references for example um, and let's just go and So if I then just again go ahead and pull it, you can see it's added that. So can you see this minimap just slowly expanding? Can you see this text view expanding as well? That's it in a nutshell, basically. There's nothing more to it than that. Um, you can search it, but there's not really, I mean, it depends kind of if, if you like searching for stuff. Um, it doesn't really add any more value apart from the fact that everything's here anyway. Um, you can also add from here. Um, and you've kind of got this whole cut, cut copy paste. So if I want to go ahead and cut that you can see that it's kind of greyed out now I'm going to go ahead and paste it so can you see that this plus icon is now being highlighted here so it's just moving that there so again if I want to do it go ahead and do that paste I'm going to move it here so it is it does kind of help you move things around so you don't kind of destroy your if you've made quite complex ones and you just kind of want to move stuff that's what it's quite useful for so if I want to then copy it paste it similar thing happens but I can then also paste a new one there as well so very familiar functionality and um, that kind of functionality isn't it shouldn't be really a surprise to anyone so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one and this snapshot thing is quite cool so if you just want to save and open that you can see that you've actually got a um, uh, a kind of overview of that in a, just a, an image basically that you can distribute if you want to so that's the new process designer in a nutshell I hope you've enjoyed it